Welcome back. Today I have one of these thin fin blanks. Remember these are available from Fish Head Custom Lures. They have a nice little rattle in them. Hopefully you can hear that. And we're going to paint kind of a fun little pattern on this today. So let's get started. I've already taped the bill and I have a white base coat on it. So now I'm going to give it a coat of pearlized white. Just a nice even coat. I really like these thin fins. They've been around forever. They've caught a lot of fish, and they still do. They still work great. Okay, I'll rinse the airbrush out real quick. Now I want to add a little bright yellow, transparent bright yellow into the airbrush. Just about three drops. And I want to paint about the top half of this bait with this yellow. Just a light coat. Kind of let it fade down the sides. Just kind of like that. Now we'll give it a quick heat set. Okay, so we have our bait heat set. I have washed the airbrush out. And I'm going to take a little bit of opaque black and just put a few drops on this piece of scrap paper right here. Take an artist sponge, a little piece of one. And I just want to make some random little black spots on here. Again, keeping them fairly high on the bait. Top half anyway. Some of them big, some of them small, doesn't really matter, just pretty random. We'll call that good for now and we'll give this a good heat set okay so we have our thin thin heat set I've actually heat set it twice because some of that black was kind of thick <clears throat> now I'm going to add a little pearl lime green into the airbrush A 
let's just give this top half again a, a coat of pearl lime green right over the top of that yellow. Again, we'll build some depth of colors by doing this. Like that. Now I'll give it a good heat set again. Okay, so we have our bait heat set again. And I have rinsed the airbrush out. Now we're going to use some of this mesh to make a scale pattern on this bait. So we'll get it wrapped up here all nice and tight. Let's get rid of a little of this excess. Make sure to pull it tight. Don't want to get any paint in underneath it. We can help it. Okay. Now let's load some transparent tropical green into the airbrush. And let's come over this top half again with this tropical green. Again, we're kind of building some depth here. Different layers of color. Quick rinse of the airbrush. Now let's add a little detail moss green in the brush. And let's come back over the tropical green with the detail moss green. Again, just building some depth. Kind of darkening everything up there. Okay. 
Okay, I had to reduce my paint a little bit. Let's come back over this with this detail moss green. Now that we've got it reduced, Kind of darken up this top, top half. Okay, now let's give this a quick heat set. And let's see what we got here. Looks kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and get it finished up. Let's take just a little bit of this detail moss green while we still have some in the airbrush and just hit the spine. Let's darken that up just a little bit more. Okay, call that good. I'm going to rinse the airbrush out really well and I'll be back. Okay, I have the bait heat set. I've rinsed the airbrush out. I've added some opaque white into the brush. And now we're gonna work on these eyes a little bit. If you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know that I have sophisticated stencils sometimes, which amounts to a piece of paper with a hole punched in it. And I'm gonna try to line this up over this eye kind of like that and give it just a little touch of white quick heat set turn it over Do the same thing on the other side here. Like that. Oops, I missed. Actually, that's okay. We'll give it a quick heat set. I'm going to rinse the airbrush out real quick here. Now let's add a little opaque red into the airbrush. Just a couple drops should do it. come back line our stencil up <clears throat> maybe just a little off center of our white so we let a little of the white show now we'll just paint that red like that <clears throat> quick heat set and turn it over
and there's our eyes. Okay, so now I've added just a little bit of opaque black into the brush. I just want to darken this nose up a little bit. Real light pressure. Not much paint. Don't even need to paint it black. Just darken it up a little bit. Just like that. Let's give that a heat set and I'll give it a clear coat and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Thanks for watching.